You are divine source energy. You are part of source energy. It is your natural right, if you want to call it your birthright, that you are able to create and generate your existence. All of reality, well first let us say it's an illusion, but all of reality is vibrational signatures. And it is first created and generated at the energetic level and then it is projected into density or pulled into density. You can think about it either way. You also experience time in this dimension which is not experienced in the same way in any other dimension. Time is a marker. It is a, a record locator for an event. That is all that time is and, how, and that's how it's utilized in the other dimensions. In the third dimension your perception of it is that it flows in one direction and that it's linear. That you stand on one timeline and you experience it from start to finish. But the truth of the matter is, is that you are constantly moving back and forth between different timelines. Uh, one of the ways that we describe this is as the harp of probability. If you can envision a harp with multiple strings on it. And each of these strings has a different note or a different vibrational signature. And realities are very much the same. There is a different vibrational signature that is assigned to each version of reality because of a different setup. What you perceive to be your past is actually a setup or an agreed upon set of circumstances that creates the now that you are experiencing. So these different setups create a different potential, a different vibrational signature for the now. And there are infinite setups. But you choose the one that has the vibrational signature that you're interested in experiencing and exploring. And as you move through reality, as you move through time, you think you have a linear progression. Again, on the third dimension, you think you're on one string. But in reality, you are constantly moving back and forth between the strings on the harp. If you knew nothing but that fact, that you, there are other versions, if you want to call them probable realities or parallel uh, realities, they're going on, you can shift your focus energetically to those versions of reality and that can shift what you are manifesting. All right. So one way to think about that is if you're manifesting uh, the potential for an accident. All right. You're doing something that you don't really want to do. You can either heed that that in a call that says, mm, I really don't want to do this and make a new vibrational selection, in other words, make a choice that says, all right, I'm going to do something different. Or you can stay there, follow through and then create an accident for yourself to get your own attention to say, this isn't really what you wanted vibrationally. You're sending out another signature and we'll get to that in just a moment through the laws of reflection. You are seeing the universe present you with opportunities that are a vibrational match for that which you're pulsing out. As you start to manifest consciously, it's all about understanding vibrational frequency, vibrational signature. You are constantly pulsing out signatures, vibrational frequencies that the universe responds to and through the laws of reflection reflect back to you that which you are pulsing out. All right. This happens through the laws of attraction. The law of attraction is how the universe aligns the right reflection. Now, you have thoughts that you're pulsing out. Those hold frequency. You have emotions that you're pulsing out. Those hold frequency. And physically, your body is holding frequency. All right. Your, your physical vehicle is a combination of your mental and emotional states that have been solidified into density that create and generate your physical vehicle. So all, all, all of these levels, your energetic levels, are creating your reality. Now, we always say thought creates form, but your emotional states vibrated into being. And what we mean by that is that most of the mental thoughts that you have, the ones that are running at the conscious level, 
can be a bit neutral all right you can say I want to create this but your emotional state is really the powerhouse where your emotions are really determines that which you are creating the more passionate you are about something or the more we could simply say the more emotional you are about something the faster you're going to create and generate it the more fear you hold about something the faster you're going to generate it the more excited you are about something the faster you're going to generate it and what we mean by faster is that you're going to see it reflected back to you in physical react reality sooner so it's very exciting We've, and we want to support you in this uh, it's been out there for several years there have been a lot of people talking about manifestation but there are a few key points that people get stuck on and those we want to talk about um, the first thing as we said, thoughts create form. It's your emotional states that drive it into being. Your emotions are the accelerant. So if you have the thought that you want to take a vacation, that's the thought, that's the form. You can create a vacation for yourself. If your emotions behind it are that you're worried about money, you don't know how you're going to get the time off from work, you're going to come back to a stack of bills, then you may get your vacation, but you also get debt and you get a lot more work and you're very stressed because that's where your emotional states are. Now the same thing goes with the, the same thought. All right, I want to take a vacation. But this time, as you think about it, your intent is that you're creating a, a, a vacation that is really wonderful because you get to relax, you get to have a, a vacation with lots of great food, great people, great fun. What you create for yourself is a vacation that's a lot of fun with great people and great food and a lot of uh, relaxing time. They're very, very different. The thoughts are the same, but the emotional states are different. So those pulse out different vibrational frequencies to the universe. Now, it's not your responsibility to figure out how all this is to take form. Form is up to the universe. Intent and vibrational signature that you're pulsing out, that is your part of the game. The universe's part in co-creation is to provide you with form. Now, the universe can create form and create things in ways that you can't even begin to fathom, that exceed your wildest imagination. If you want to think about manifestation as you sending out the pulse all right you can think of it as a boomerang you throw the boomerang out there that's your order to the universe you say this is what I want to create here's my thought and here's my emotion behind it you throw the the boomerang out there and the universe fills the order and it brings it back to you and there you are all right so now if you've got a really high vibrational thought you can think of it like climbing up in frequency. So now you're standing on the roof of the building and you're throwing the boomerang out there to the universe. The universe brings it back. You're standing on the roof. There you are. Your order has arrived. Very good. Well done. You've manifested that which you desired and you got it. It was reflected right back to you. What happens more often than not is that you all pulse out what it is you want. All right. And then you drop out of the vibrational signature that you're in when you're creating. So here's how it, how it looks in physical reality. You think, I want to create a lot of money or I want to create a dream job for myself. And then the emotion says, that's the mental thought. The emotion says, um, that would feel really good. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be wonderful. Fabulous. So you've got positive emotions behind it. Well, then the ego takes over all those belief systems that say that things have to be this way or that way. I'm not good enough. I'm not deserving. Um, you know, I'm not trustworthy. Whatever beliefs the ego has, all these programs are running. And what happens when they get activated, all these doubts, is that you drop out of the frequency range that you're in when you are pulsing out all of this this desire to the universe so when the universe brings the order back you're no longer standing in that vibrational range so rather than standing on the rooftop where you where you put your order in you're now down on the fifth floor because you thought I'm not good enough I'm not deserving I'm not smart enough and so you think the universe just never brought you your order alright the universe did 
it did bring it to you, but you weren't there. You were no longer in that vibrational range to receive it. What you really have done is put yourself on another timeline. If you put yourself back in that vibrational state, back up on the roof, your order can be re-delivered. All right, so it, it doesn't take as much energy when you put the order back in, but you just have to hold that vibrational state. The same thing happens when you're in worry, and we want to point this out because it's because you all will be up in high frequencies and you'll drop out. It's practice learning to identify where your vibrational signatures are. And this is about you learning to become more and more aware of how you're feeling, where your thoughts are, where your emotions are. If you find yourself in a grumpy mood, if you find yourself in a depressed mood, cranky, irritable, those are all lower vibrational signatures if you find yourself in fear. So you're standing down on the third floor, all right, and you're pulsing all this stuff out. Well, the universe is going to respond, all right, because it's going to reflect it back. This is how reality is created and generated. It's all starting at the vibrational level. So you're pulsing out all of this fear. The universe says, all right, I've got to bring you this reflection so that you can see these programs are running in your field. And so the universe brings back an accident. Many of you will think, well, I didn't create this accident. It just happened to me. I had no part in it. Well, we'll tell you it is very much the opposite. You 100% did create and generate it based off of your frequencies that you were pulsing out. So what you can do is that you can become more and more aware of where you're vibrating and you can very, very quickly alter, if you want to think about it as canceling some of the lower vibrational signatures, you can. So here's how it looks in physical reality. You are cranky, you're irritable, you have been invited to go somewhere and you really don't want to go. If you were to follow through with that, you'd probably uh, be stepping off the curb and break your ankle. All right, there's an accident waiting to happen. In reality, you were aware of how you were vibrating. You thought, I'm really in this cranky space. What's, what's creating this fear? You know, I'm, you know, I'm doing something that I don't really want to do. All right, you become aware of that program running and you shift the program. And so rather than doing something that you don't want to do, you call your friend up and say, you know what, I'm really sorry, but I'm not going to be able to join you. And you've increased your vibrational frequency because you looked at what you were pulsing out and you decided to shift it. So rather than that accident finding its way to you, you've increased your vibration and now you're standing up, say, on the eighth floor, all right? on this 10 floor building. You've moved up from the third floor to the eighth. So the accident comes back to the third floor, that vibrational range, you're not there. So you don't experience it. You experience something different because you've altered your vibrational, your vibrational signature. All right. And that's really how it works. The universe matches your pulse. And then are you still standing in that same space by the time that you experience that pulse by the time the universe brings it back there is as we said a lag time and that is getting shorter and shorter and shorter so you you're not having to wait six months six weeks to pull in an experience the universe is bringing it in six minutes six hours maybe six weeks so it's coming faster and faster and faster